Manhunt for the person responsible for a trio of crimes is still underway as we enter day 12 now of the Kelso Valley manhunt. 23 ABC's Twilan Nugin is live in Weldon with how crews are holding this long search. Twilan. Good morning, Leslie. Now, it's been about one week since authorities last came in contact with the suspect who is believed to be responsible for a kidnapping, a homicide, and the shooting of two sheriff's deputies. Now, the search for him hasn't only been difficult on the law enforcement involved. While law enforcement agencies from local and federal agencies across California work day and night to find Kern County's most wanted man, volunteers work to support in any way they can. We still have about 120 law enforcement personnel from various agencies responding in the area. We're feeding them three meals a day as well as midnight meals for those persons that are stationed 24 hours here in the area. The American Red Cross has been providing support in the form of meals and sleeping arrangements for about one week, but now the Salvation Army will be taking over. I, I can tell you that everyone has been very appreciative. The 14 different law enforcement agencies have expressed how grateful they are for support, and they know the cost associated, but the Salvation Army is conscious of how to effectively manage that limited budget. We're able to spend some time doing uh, cost estimates. We do meal planning and we bring that cost way down. Right now I'm delivering meals at 70 cents a meal per person. Now we've asked officials day after day how long they're planning to continue this search. They say they are willing to continue as long as it takes to get this dangerous man off the streets. Now they do have a management team in place that analyzes each day to keep an end in sight. Live in Weldon, Twilo Nugent, 23 ABC.